simplify the complex fraction. Here we have the quotient of 1 over x plus 3 minus 1 and 1 plus 1 over x plus 3. Now, I'm going to simplify this by first focusing in on, on our denominators. The lowest common denominator of all of the denominators that we see in here is x plus 3. So I'm going to take this entire complex fraction and I'm going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by x plus 3. Let's do that. So we're going to take the numerator times x plus 3 and the denominator times x plus 3. Notice here that we're only multiplying uh, by a factor of 1. The same thing over itself is equal to 1. Thus, we're not changing the value of anything, but we are going to change the way that it looks. Now, x plus 3 times 1 over x plus 3 minus 1 in the numerator and x plus 3 times 1 plus 1 over x plus 3 in the denominator. Now, looking at the numerator, we're going to have to distribute this factor of x plus 3 to both terms. And I'm going to go ahead and do that multiplication all in one step. Here we go. x plus 3 times 1 over x plus 3 is equal to 1. x plus 3 times the negative 1 is equal to the negative of x plus 3 down to the denominator. Again, distributing x plus 3 times both terms. x plus 3 times 1 is itself x plus 3. And x plus 3 times its reciprocal, 1 over x plus 3, is 1. So in multiplying the top and bottom by x plus 3, we've gotten rid of the complexity of the problem. We've gotten rid of the, the minor fractions within. Now let's simplify what we have left. In the numerator, 1 minus x minus 3, distributing. And then in the denominator, let's combine our like terms and write this as x plus 4. As a last step, combine the 1 and negative 3 in the numerator, giving a negative x minus 2 in the denominator, x plus 4. So our simplified form of this complex fraction is negative x minus 2 over x plus 4.